All right, so just a follow-up video relating to this particular caravan that we talked about, the installation issues that we found whilst testing. Uh, so those installation issues were incorrectly cabled from a um, cable size perspective and also a pickup point location on the batteries. Um, the battery charger was being fed from the inverter, uh, so the infinite loop scenario, uh, the solar regulator in the overhead cupboard, and uh, we also have gone about doing what we were originally scoped to do, which was air conditioner caravan. So what we've ended up doing is completely redoing the battery cabling uh, so we've now upsized the cables, so they're the correctly sized cables for this particular installation and all the cabling is appropriately matched from paralleling cables to feed cables. We've also run in a new battery, sorry, a new uh, 240 volt mains only fed power point that uh, as you can see now is not working from the inverter, it will only be fed from mains to stop the infinite loop. In addition to that, we also have increased the size of the solar array on the roof uh, by sticking in two extra solar panels, an additional solar regulator, which is brought up to AS3001, uh, and also then connected all the Victron products onto a Caravan VE network. So we can actually see on the app what's happening here we've got the air conditioner running so the battery monitor the battery monitor is actually um, showing that we're discharging 20 amps from the battery the battery is at 81 percent but at the same time we're putting in 25 amps on the 50 amp regulator and 19 almost 20 amps on the 30 amp regulator which is putting in 45 amps so the air conditioner as it's running at the moment is pulling about 65 amps out of the system those all those devices all communicate on the VE network so as we discussed previously having the solar regulator in the overhead cupboard is far too far away from the battery but the Victron network allows the smart shunt to transmit battery voltage to the regulator which the regulator compensates then for volt drop um, still not the best location for it but it's a way around that particular installation issue. So all in all the customer now has a much more robust, uh, much more uh, user friendly and also correctly installed uh, off-grid system in their caravan. So if you have any questions guys please don't hesitate to hit us up, more than happy to answer them. Cheers, speak to you soon.